today I want to give you tips on three things that I've only just discovered myself and it's really making a difference to meal planning. So um, we'll switch to the screencast in a minute and I'll go through the tips and they're going to include how to get things set up on the calendar function for your meal planning. So it takes into account things like meal prep, which is so key when it comes to meal planning. Um, and that we're also going to look at how can you switch things up when in the real world your plan may be brilliant when you've made it on a Sunday but by Tuesday life's changed something's happened and you need to switch things up a bit so I've worked out how to do that in a quick way so you don't lose all of the benefits of your plan and the third one is how to use the more advanced search functions when you've got a glut of veg or you've bought something you don't know what to do with it and things just aren't coming up when you're searching and I hope you enjoy the video do subscribe and um, like the video if you like it it really helps the channel grow and I hope you enjoy these three tips so here I am using paprika on the iPad and it's paprika version 3 that I'm using and if you're using paprika on another device I know these features definitely exist on the iPhone and on the Mac version. I don't know the PC and Android but I'm sure they're quite similar. So if you don't see what I'm doing straight away here do have a dig around in the menus um, because it's probably there and Paprika have a really good website as well so have a search on there if you can't find what you're looking for. So let's open Paprika. I'll just open it on the um, recipe page here. And the first tip that I'm going to show you is really about how we can maximise the use of the calendar and meal planning function that's right there within Paprika. Because I don't know about you, but for me, if it's not in the calendar, it's not getting done. And I like to put in my calendar for meal planning some of the extra bits that may be not that obvious if you don't do meal prep. And I've learned how to set it up now to so make that easier for me. So I wanted to share it. So what I've done is I've deleted the changes that I'd made so that I can show you how to set it up. So let's start off by going into settings down the left hand side here. Um, so you go into the cogwheel and then move down the menu settings and you will find uh, one thing which is under the meal planner section we've got week starts on so just know that you can change that depending on how you kind of view your week now I used to have this set up for my week to start on a Monday which is kind of how I think um, but I've changed it to Sunday because I like to diarise now into this calendar some of my meal prep and I do a lot of my meal prep and planning on a Sunday so I wanted it to start there each week so you can change it to whatever day you like on here but I'm going to leave mine on Sunday for now and then this is the uh, pro tip for you so underneath week starts on we've got meal types and the standard ones when you get this set up, I think are breakfast, lunch, dinner and drinks. But you can see here that I've added one of my own. So I've added here packed lunch. Now, if you've got kids or a large family or a number of people you're preparing food for, um, being able to adapt this menu is really helpful. For me, I've put packed lunch as one. And then the other really key one, which has been a bit of a game changer for me, is to add a section into the calendar for my meal prep so I've taken it out for the minute so I can show you so let's add it back in so to add in a meal type that suits you and the way you live your life you just come down to the bottom right of this window to the plus sign click on plus name it so I'm going to name this meal type meal prep so it's nothing to do with what I'm eating on the day, but either I'm preparing a meal in advance or, as I often do, I'm preparing elements of a meal in advance to make it much quicker on the day. And then you can choose whatever colour you like. I put, put it in red on mine. Um, and you can choose to have it as an all day if you're exporting it into your Google Calendar or your Apple Calendar or whatever calendar you use. And I mean, even a meal time if you want it. Um, but for me, I just leave it in uh, on, on its basic settings and then save it. 
So you can see now that I've got meal prep added in as a meal type. So we'll come back out of settings now and close that down. And let's go into the calendar function and have a look at a new week that's coming up so I can show you how this works. So if you've watched my other video, which I'll link somewhere now, uh, you'll know that I often set up these sort of standard meal plans within Paprika to save time. So I have quite a number of these and I can just pre-populate a week with my kind of basic ideas about meal planning and then mess about with it and individualise it. But at least it means I've got something to, to work from. So here we are in... Sorry about the seagull noise. I live right near the sea and they're shouting today because it's sunny. Um, anyway, here we are. I've got my uh, calendar open in the meal planner section in a weekly view, which makes it easier to do this kind of thing. And I'm going to pre-populate with one of my meal plans that I've already got set up. And if you watch my previous video, that shows you how to do that. And it really saves time to have some templates to see set you away in a weekly meal plan so you're not always having to start from scratch. So to load up an already existing food plan I'm pressing in the top right this plus button and the uh, templates are called menus in Paprika so I'll add a menu and I'm going to add the summer of frugal meal plan here which is one I'm working with at the minute because it uses a lot of the produce that I've got grown in the gardens so here we go summer of frugal I've clicked that and then it's brought me through to the calendar and it's asking me basically when do you want this meal plan to start it's a seven day meal plan and I'm going to ask it to start from this Sunday coming up and then click save and as you can see, it's pre-populated with some things from the meal plan that I've set up as a, a bit of a standard template that I can work from. So what I want to do is to show you how you might use that function that we've just added in the settings, which is to um, put into the calendar our meal prep. So I do a lot of my meal prep on a Sunday, so I'm going to add in on Sunday using the plus button to the right here. What it wants me to do now is to either add in a, a recipe, add in a note or add in a menu. So I am going to add in recipes as meal prep so I've got them nice and easy to click through when it comes to Sunday. So I'll add a recipe. And what's one of the things I'll be doing? I will be making almond milk, for instance. So I tend to make a batch of almond milk on a Sunday, ready for our cereals in the week, and then I'll make another one midweek. So we'll choose my almond milk, and it's asking me, when do I want to put that in? So we'll put that in, yep, yeah, for Sunday, that's right. We'll do next. And then you can see now that my meal prep uh, section that we added in settings is now available so I'm putting that in as meal prep tick and save and now nice and quickly I can see on Sunday that I've got various meals planned but also I've got some meal prep jobs to do so I'll just do that again I can see on Wednesday I'm going to be making a breakfast at home like a proper breakfast and we're going to have these lovely sweet potato egg nests um, which involves using spiralized sweet potato and I quite like to, as meal prep to spiralize my sweet potatoes earlier in the week so I've just got them really quick and ready to go for breakfast or any other meals so I want to get that done also on Sunday so I'll add a recipe and what is it called I think it's called sweet sweet potato ah there it is sweet potato egg nests so i'll do that and again i'll select sunday the 25th for that and i'll say next i'll make sure that meal prep is selected save and then again, I can see I've got meal prep to do for almond milk and I've got meal prep to do for some sweet potato egg nests. 
So I like to make sure that everything's on this paprika calendar. I can have everything at a glance. So instead of trying to carry things in my head, I can actually use the best of technology and know and trust that I can open up this app and it will have everything in there. Even if I haven't remembered we've got film night on Monday, Paprika will remember and then I'm not worrying about what am I going to cook tonight. And this is a real game changer in terms of meal prep. When you feel like you've got everything under control, it really adds to quality of life. It's, it's not just time that you're saving. It's kind of bandwidth in your brain. So you can keep your brain for doing clever stuff and fun stuff and enjoying your life and have some of these routine tasks that just need to be done. They might be enjoyable, but they need to be done. Um, have them in a to-do list which is essentially what we're doing here using the calendar to have a really effective meal planning system so that's tip number one maximize the use of your calendar and experiment for yourself and see if this is helpful for you so tip number two is about kind of the best made plans and how they often don't work in practice so you get into your week and suddenly things have changed and you need to swap things up a bit. And um, Paprika app actually makes this quite easy, but it's not that obvious. At least it wasn't to me when you first look at it. So let's imagine that this week I hear from one of my friends that they want to come over for dinner on Tuesday, but they're vegetarian. And at the moment, I've got a chicken dish in here on our Tuesday meal planning. So that's not going to work. So let's say I want to serve them up the linguine that I did have in already for Wednesday. So I might want to swap that over to Tuesday so that our supper with friends is kind of covered. And actually, I could just literally swap those two over without much problem. So what you do in order to, to swap something in your meal plan is just to click edit. And as you can see, on the right of the page here now, some of the menu items have got these little three lines and when you see those three lines in the square to the right that means you can pick up with your finger and drag things so let's just pick up the linguine from wednesday move that up to tuesday and let's pick up the chicken adobo and bring that down to wednesday and then we'll just click done and there we go and now tuesday night I know I'm cooking linguine, really simple. We can just swap things out very simply. Now, on another time, it might be that I want to change things. Let's say I've got some extra chicken in and I want to make double chicken adobo and just serve them up as leftovers on the Thursday night rather than making the curry. So to delete, we just slide across and I'll delete this masala base curry. And now I just want to replicate the chicken adobo with rice pot in pot. So we go into edit and I'll click the little button next to chicken adobo. So a little tick box to the left. And then I'll go into the menu with the three dots at the bottom and click copy. And then I'm going to be moving that down to Thursday the 29th. So we'll move that to Thursday the 29th, save it off and then click done. And now you can see we've got rid of the curry for that evening and we're going to have chicken adobo two nights running. And who doesn't want that? It's delicious. Um, so it's really easy to roll with the punches or roll with the lunches when it comes to using Paprika app. Um, so have an explore and know that you can move things around, you can delete things very easily, you can swap things really simply from day to day and you can duplicate something that you're having if you decide to do a double batch. So my third tip is search and rescue. So if you've got a glut of vegetables from the garden or you've bought extra of some vegetables because they were on offer or you just got tempted to buy something unusual and you don't actually know how to use it, um, you can really use the advanced search function in Paprika to find things. And that makes sure that you're not having any waste and you're, you're saving money and you can just add things into your meal plan that meet those um, gluts 
or the extra things you've bought that are going to go to waste if you don't get them used. So at the moment, we're here in August in the UK and I have got a mass of cucumbers and I haven't had time to do any preserving because life has happened. Um, and I know right now I've got some cucumbers in the fridge that need using, but they're now a bit beyond preserving. They're, they're just kind of on the, on the turn, if you like, very edible, but I don't want to preserve them because it won't work out. So I go to all recipes and I'm going to look for some recipes with cucumber. And as you can see here, we've got five recipes with cucumbers in them. And none of them are quite doing what I want them to do. It's not really what I'm after. I haven't got any strawberries, so that smoothies out. So I know there must be other recipes in here that include cucumber, but maybe it's not in the title. So did you know that you can use the search function in Paprika to just find single ingredients? So what you do is go to the top red bar where it says all recipes. And you can, at the moment, we've just got name of recipe clicked, but you can also click ingredients. So I'm going to click ingredients. And if you saw behind there now, there are many more recipes that include cucumbers. So I don't need to go straight off and get lost in Google. I've already got loads here. So we've got here, let's have a look at that one. Super green smoothie. Yeah, it uses a cup of cucumber. So that's a significant amount of cucumber. Lots of nice greens. I've got all of those ingredients. So that is a perfect recipe for me to, be, to start using my cucumbers. And I can add that into my food plan by just clicking the button with a little plus at the top. And let's add that in from Sunday. Next, add it in as a drink, save it off. We go back to our food plan, back to Sunday. And you can see now that I've got the super green green smoothie in there. And that's gonna use up some of my cucumber. And what a brilliant way to find recipes that have ingredients in that may not be the number one ingredient so it might not be in the title and you can also use this advanced function of search here in different ways so if you've got a memory that you'd put something in the description or you remembered that oh I found that recipe on Jamie Oliver's site or New York Times then you might even click the source and search for that so you can click the source you can click in the description if you've made notes or done tags, which I sometimes do. So learn how to use the search function to its whole extent. And you'll probably find that you'll end up saving money. You'll have less food waste. And you might also discover some recipes that you'd forgotten you'd put in your database. <laughs> So that's tip number three, which is all about using the search function to its absolute max. So I hope that's helpful. Get searching, get using your calendar function and remember to put in your meal prep so that everything's in one place and you can confidently get on with your meal planning for the week and know that Paprika's there as your friend to guide you. So even on the worst days, you can just open it up and everything's laid out and you can just get on with your cooking. So there we go. I hope at least one of those three tips was something new for you when you're using Paprika app. So let me know in the comments below if you've got some extra tips on how you use Paprika so we can all share what we're learning. And um, please remember to subscribe for more weekly videos on the theme of growing food, cooking food and learning to live a lower cost life. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.